Good morning. It's Thursday, December 3rd, and today I'm going to tell you about Donald J. Trump's greatest scam. We all know that Donald is the world's leading narcissist. He loves himself above all other things. So the thought of losing the election terrified him. But he realized months before the election that he was going to lose. And so he began to craft his scam. It involved not paying attention to the pandemic anymore. So he casually said, don't worry about it. It's going to run its course and we'll all be fine. And he put this guy's Scott Atlas on it and Atlas was a herd immunity guy, and the situation only got worse. So Donald knew that the jig was up, that the election was lost. And what he loves more, almost more than himself, is money. So he had to figure out a way to make a lot of money out of the losing. And that's when he started heavily promoting the mail-in ballot fraud scheme. He never let up. He continually screamed and yelled and claimed there was mail-in fraud. And then Chris Krebs got fired. And now Bill Barr is in trouble because he also said that there was no election fraud. But that's all side issues in the big scam. You see, Donald knew one thing. He knew that he didn't have, as they used to say, a Chinaman's chance of converting enough independents and Democrats to vote for him. But he knew his base would be entirely loyal. And he knew the size of his base was considerable. So he knew he would lose the election, but it would not be a slaughter. It was going to be close in his mind. And so his scheme involved getting the nation prepared for him to call for these recounts. So he harped on mail fraud chicanery, and he gathered affidavits from people who said they saw something, and they held poll workers, and they saw something. And every single case that was brought before a judge lacked evidence. And I don't know what the number was, over 30 or 40 cases. Well, not 40. It's over 30 cases. And of them, there were two that were sort of not decided, but they weren't decided in favor of him. Every other case was thrown out for lack of evidence because the lawyers, once they get into court, they can't lie. So you had Giuliani and Powell talking nonsense out there. And Giuliani with the dye running down his face. But in any event, the entire scheme was set up so that Donald could go to his base and ask them to fund money, to donate, to support his efforts in the event that they had to have a recount. And sure as shit, his base stepped up and he raised $177 million to pay for the recounts and as far as I know, he did pay $3 million for one recount of some kind. But he didn't pay for the recount in Georgia because that was within the percentage where the state was responsible. So $3 million out of $177 million is what I would call bupkis. Now, why do I talk about the $177 million? I talk about it because that's his money. That money is now his. Because according to the law, donations to a recount fund are limited to a certain amount of money, but the fund is set up for the candidate. 
And the candidate has control of that bank account. Of course, he will have to account for what he does with the money in some way, shape, or form. But we know that he has figured out how to keep this money. And he has talked about possibly running in 2024. So maybe he has a plan to sort of put this money aside in order for his next run at the presidency in 2024. But he's not going to run in 2024. And given his problems with tax returns and everything, this money is going to disappear into his pockets. Or maybe he's going to pay off the big loan that he owes to Deutsche Bank. Maybe he's going to pay that loan off with this money. So you see, he wasn't really interested necessarily in winning this election once he realized that he lost it. His fight became all about the fraud, all about a scheme to raise hundreds of millions of dollars, all about suckering his base into paying his way into the future. He's probably pissed off that he didn't take a salary. You know, he waived his salary when he became president. So he's probably pissed off that he did that. And anyhow, that's the story of Donald's greatest scam, raising $177 million for a losing effort because he knew he wasn't going to get these recounts. He knew there was no evidence. He was blinded by his narcissism. He was blinded by the fact that he could lose. And in order to soothe his soul, he ripped his base off. He ripped them off. And maybe I shouldn't be as angry at him as I should be at the base for being so stupid that they're going to pay for something that didn't happen. And how many of the base really believed that there was a fraud? And if they did, I would take their voting rights away. In any event, that's my rant for this morning, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.